All right, so I want to show you the power and simplicity of Imager. I'll head to Imager.com, I-M-G-U-R.com. And you actually don't even have to be uh, logged in or have an account um, to use Imager. Um, right off the bat, if you want, you can go ahead and drag a file right into your browser screen. Um, and click start upload. Now, if I click start upload right now, it'll just go to a screen that shows me this image and gives me the links for it. If I want, I can click the edit button, hit start upload. Well, let's just give this a moment. Um, this will give me an option to edit my image before I save it into my, uh, basically my library. Now, you don't, like I said, have to have an account or be logged in. Um, but there are some advantages to having an account, and I'll show you in a moment. So I've chosen to edit right now. Uh, I'm selected, I've selected crop resize. Uh, if I want to do some advanced features, I can hit advance. And you'll see on the right hand side that. Um, I can resize, add text, do some drawing to it, remove red eye, remove blemishes, change the saturation, brightness, contrast, etc., etc. But I just want to um, do a quick crop and resize. So I'm going to select uh, select the flower. Hit save. Now, had I simply um, hit upload, start upload without checking the edit box, it would have shown me the whole image um, without my cropping. Um, so it gives you an intermediate step there to do some editing. Now, as you can see on the right hand side here, um, we're immediately given links. Um, this is basically this page. Um, library style. And this is the link that you probably want most of the time. This is a direct link to the image. So I can click here to copy it, or I can click and right click and copy. Either way, this is an easy way to copy it. So I open up a new pa uh, tab and paste that link. As you can see, it goes straight to this image. This image is there and will stay there. Now, I can um, I can go ahead and create an account, and this will give me some added benefits. So let me go ahead and show you uh, what happens when I create an account. First of all, uh, just click on the register link, and it only takes a minute. There's just a few fields to fill out. basically your username, your email, password, and a CAPTCHA. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you've created your account, you'll come straight to this screen. Now, what this does is just gives you an interface where you can manage um, your images. So you can create albums. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and upload an image just by simply dragging to the screen. We'll see, you can, as you can see here. Now, I can go ahead and queue up a few. Alright, so... Whoops. And, and as each one um, progresses, it will move on to the next. I can just keep queuing up images if I want to. Um, but I'm just going to upload a few images here um, to show you uh, some of the advantages of creating an account. Okay, this should be done in a second. And it is. Now I can create albums. And I can choose what format these images show up in. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of 
cool for only having a few images. Uh, these will be your thumbnails with a featured image. This is all thumbnails, and as you can see. Um, public is basically will show up as your username.imager.com, and if somebody searches hidden, you can give somebody a link um, to an image or put an image on a blog post or what have you. Um, and that's the only way someone will be able to find it. Or you can do secret, which will only allow you when you're logged in to see your particular album. Okay, so we'll give the album a name. My album one. This is my first album. Now I can go ahead and add images. And it's going to show me all the available images that are not already in an album. So I'm just going to select this one and this one and hit save. And now as you can see, my album one now contains the two images I've selected. Go ahead and make a new album. My album two. Add images and that's the only image available because it's the only other image I've added. So now I have both my albums. My album one, my album two, uh, and this allows me to basically just kind of organize my images. If I had a blog and I wanted you know 20 images that I want to put on my blog or whatever, um, I could do that. Um, and it's real easy to embed. You simply click on the image and there's my JPEG link and that link will stay and exist for as long as I have this album or um, until I choose to delete um, this album and this image. Um, there's a lot of other options as well. You can you can share them. Um, you don't even have to post on a blog or whatever. You can email your images. Um, and there's a lot of stuff to play with here. Uh, as you can see though, uh, the real power is just in the simplicity. Um, I like the fact that I can just upload an image in a heartbeat um, and grab a link and I'm not hosting it on my own hosting service or whatever. It's coming right off an of imager. It has some social um, potential. And so uh, you can also upload images from a web link, by the way. Uh, and there's a lot of other neat options that you can do if, if you want uh, to always have your images at a certain um, size, you can make your whole album uh, size that way. A lot of other uh, little things here and there that, that you can play with. Uh, you can create galleries, things like that as well. So anyway, I hope uh, that this video has been helpful and um, let Imager make your images very simple. It's great for that.